What's happening everybody? This is Yummy Mash and uh, this is definitely one of my best amazing gameplays I've gotten in a long time. Really, 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 really high paced intense gameplay right here and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I play like a boss. I play like an absolute boss in this and I, my game was on this entire match. Anyway guys, uh, there's a lot to talk about in this commentary. The good thing that it's about 10 minutes long so it gives me uh, gives me the time and there's a lot, a lot of things and uh, we'll begin off then. Um, first thing is first. I am going to be doing a Gears of War 3 competitive top 5 plays of the week or well of the every now and then whenever I get the clips. So if any of you play game battles or scrims or anything competitive, that should have been a kill, uh, link me to them. Uh, send me a link to the clip uh, like, like you do normally with the, with the normal top 5s and uh, I'll uh, see if it's good enough and maybe I'll use it. Um, the reason I'm doing this is the competitive scene, clips and competitive is completely different to clips you be getting matches like this, like uh, player matches, rank matches, stuff like that. And that's because competitive matches is a lot harder to get any clips in. It's always been more of a skillful thing rather than a flashy thing. Like this is a flashy gameplay. Competitive is, is a lot less flashy. It's about teamwork, it's about callouts and stuff. And I have a competitive game that I'll upload eventually, uh, hopefully over the next couple of days. So um, that's this is why I'm separating the two with a competitive top five and a regular top five and that's going to give me more stuff to do and to upload over the weeks um so send those clips in and hopefully i'll get the first episode out very soon um Second thing, uh, I'm going to be starting a thing called uh, another podcast. I did a podcast a little while ago. It's where I have about three or four people on, and we talk for for a little while, maybe about 40 minutes or so, uh, about you know stuff about Gears of War 3, about whatever. You know, uh, that's what a podcast is for. So I'm going to be starting a new one of those up, and I thought of a really fancy name for it. Uh, I'm going to be calling it the Mashcast, uh, obviously because my uh, my name is Yami Mash, and uh, I thought it was a cool idea, like mashing loads of different personalities into one. A mash cast, pretty cool, I guess. I don't even know. Uh, another thing. Oh, that there's a lot to talk about, by the way, guys, and I'm, I'm quite excited. Uh, another thing is uh, YouTube, as you can probably tell, they've done a few little layout changes again. Uh, if you look at the uploads on YouTube, it's all a bit weird right now, and the views haven't really been updating for some videos. Some videos they have been updating for some, they haven't. They've been kind of stuck. Uh, it's been a bit buggy, there's been very glitchy, like when I try and send a message to people, sometimes it'll come up with an error because it comes up with all these jibber jabber numbers and letters. I'm sure some of you guys, if you've tried to send messages over the past few days, you've had that problem. So that's a bit annoying. Uh, also had a random Xbox Live system update today, it was a pretty big update, it took me a while to download, so I didn't know what that was for, but they didn't really change anything from what I've seen, so a uh, random update for Xbox Live, just letting you all know. Now here's the big thing uh, in the video that I wanted to talk about, and it's uh, I was thinking of getting a a, a custom T-shirt made, and this is this is where it goes completely downhill for me. I have absolutely zero graphic or artist design capabilities, and when I say zero, uh, maybe a little, but nowhere near enough as like a professionalism I want to have. And I also I don't think like, I want to make it for myself more than anything because I would love to have a T-shirt that says "Come to the Mash" on it because I don't know why. But I'd actually wear it out in public. I don't know if that's if that's really. <laughs> I bet people are shaking their heads at me right now, saying that I'd wear a custom T-shirt saying "Come to the mash out in public" when I'm going for a drink or whatever. But I would. I really would. And this is the this is this is this is exact image I want on it. I, I also want this for an avatar on YouTube. Uh, it's it's a cartoon drawn mashed potato with sunglasses and maybe a hat. Uh, and that's what exactly what I'm after right now. And I, uh, that ink did absolutely no damage to him, and I was pissed off. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, it's something I really want to have. Uh, like, I thought it, I think it would look cool. What, what do you guys think? A custom draw mashed potato with sunglasses? I, I don't even know to be honest with you. But if anybody, any, anybody out there with arti artistic abilities, you know, you got Photoshop or whatever, and you can draw me a custom. A cartoon mashed potato with sunglasses and maybe a hat or something creative that would I think would look cool send it in I'd be well happy um, I'd love to have that as my avatar <laughs> and um, so, like send me the image and I could also maybe use it on a t-shirt if I ever decide to make one also if any of you know any good uh, websites or um, companies that make custom t-shirts uh, just let me know send me a message or something that'd be great um, if any of you would ever want to buy a custom t-shirt um, uh, just let me know and I'll see what I can do uh, I was thinking of just getting this for myself more than anything but if any of you uh, like like I'll wear it in some videos and if any of you like the look 
look of it. I'll see what I can do. Um, I'll try and get some more or something, and we'll sort something out. But I, this is far off in the future. Uh, maybe, I want to say far off in the future, maybe a few months away. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen yet. But my, my uh, strafe and wall bounce is really on in this game. Uh, I, I don't know how I, I played so well. I, was, I must have warmed up from the last couple of matches. And this one was like the pinnacle of my gameplay gaming experience right here. Um, by the way, this was actually quite a close match too. It, uh, it was a 2-1 win uh, for a certain team. I won't say which team. Anyway, um... I've also been thinking about uh, the stuff I'm going to be uploading to my channel, the kind of the direction kind of thing, and I've, I've been really thinking into it, and um, here's the thing, um, I, I do really enjoy uh, doing, you know, th these type of commentaries where I talk about whatever, and I'm going to, I'll do these for a long time, because there's always stuff to talk about, that things arise, certain situations, certain uh, things, topics will pop into my head, and I'll do commentaries about them, and uh, that's that's the thing, I'll do uh, rank matches, play matches, on that kind of stuff. The thing I've been really wanting to do and uh, it's kind of um, something that I'm starting to get into and I'm sure you guys know is uh, the competitive kind of thing and I watch competitive gameplays late well lately I've been watching competitive gameplays and you know they're good they really are good uh, this is another reason why I was thinking about doing a 2v2 tournament which I talked about before and um, this is the thing. I thought that was an enemy frag grenade, actually. This is the thing. I watch these uh, competitive scrims, and it usually is just the in-live uh, audio with the shout-outs and stuff. And, you know, it's quite easy to do. You know, you just grab your microphone, you record your voice, and you play the game with your sound playing through the TV. And then by doing that, you know, you're going to get that effect, and it's quite intense. What I really want to do is... Um, put the time and effort into this and you know this is gonna be a gradual thing I'll do because I need to kind of start doing it first uh, I need to put the I need to put the time and effort into a um, into a game a scrim a competitive match a tournament match whatever and maybe I will um, record my uh, facial expressions maybe I will switch between uh, certain like an in-game audio with shout outs and maybe I, I don't know it, it, it's, there's a lot of things I can tweak with and do when it comes down to this and um, it really depends how I do it because I could have uh, somebody else with me and like, th this falls into the 2v2 bracket but this can also fall into just regular uh, tournament matches and stuff like uh, I've been I've been talked to by uh, some people lately uh, a person called Apex Loco he's, uh, he's really big in the competitive scene he's uh, team Apex are actually the number one European team for Gears of War uh, Gears of War 3 they've won uh, they win pretty much all the tournaments over here in Europe so they're, they're really good players and Apex Loco um has been speaking to me, and uh, this event I'm going to in April, I'll be doing some commentary for it, and um, also there's going to be an online tournament uh, going on soon, it's another European online tournament, and um, I, I think I've landed a spot in the commentary on that as well, so hopefully by with all these with all these things, I'll be able to learn, um, learn certain techniques and uh, uh, editing effects that I can improve my own videos as well, that's, that's the, that's kind of the plan. Um, also, I, um, when I go down to uh, Blackpool in uh, in April, there's a uh, potential possibilities for maybe sponsorships by um, by certain uh, organisations, and I don't know how this is going to go. I've never understood this or have any idea how to uh, direct, like put myself forward into this area of competitive play and stuff. But uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes. Uh, obviously, I'm still quite new to this. Uh, I know I know quite I know a little bit. I know I know my fair share. Obviously, it's going to take a lot of time and practice and. Uh, all that stuff for me to really get into it, but obviously, you know, you guys will learn along with me, and uh, hopefully, we'll all become better as a whole at this uh, this new area. I know you guys really enjoy these these rank games or these player matches, and sometimes rank games that I upload. Um, but hopefully, some of these competitive games I upload too, well, they'll show you they'll show you guys a whole new area of play and a whole new um, play style that you don't normally see from me. Like normally, I'm very aggressive in these kind of things, but when it comes to to uh, you know competitive matches and stuff, it, it really boils down to getting your shots on target, um, using cover wisely, making pushes that are tactical, know, knowing when to push and where to where to lancer and all that stuff. And it's crazy, it's crazy stuff. Uh, but you guys will see that. Um, but anyway, um, hopefully this is kind of getting close to the end now because I'm kind of said everything I've wanted to say um, with that said I uh, one more thing is I'm gonna be doing 
Oh, I have a bit of a, a bit of a cold now. This kind of sucks. Um, one one thing I'm going to be doing is I have found a few more scary games to play. Some really really good ones actually. Uh, firstly, a game called um, it's like S R P D or something. It's a really weird name, but it's like a, it's a short little scary game. But it's really 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 scary from what I've been told. I'll be playing that in a little bit after this commentary. And also, uh, there's this uh, game that is it's like a, it's a it's a quite a a niche game, but it's uh, supposedly very scary too. So I won't say the names of them. I want to keep them kind of, uh, kind of hidden until the moment arrives. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this gameplay. I really hope you enjoyed it. Twenty-eight and three, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Goodbye.